How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to episode 26 of my Rise of the Tomb Raider Let's Play. I'm gonna probably left off guys as usual. I went back and looked at the recording at the end of uh, last episode, and I did notice that I didn't have new quests available. It said new weapons available, so. I did go and take a look in the other area, but nothing. So, so, so. For now, we'll just continue on. So that's what was down here. Oh, um, this area tends to be one I end up not getting towards till towards the end of, because I just forget about it. So this time I made a point in my mind to get this first. A prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley. Also, I don't think you can kill the chickens. Oh. That. You can kill the chickens. Never mind. Didn't think you could. I, I need, I need, need more wood that was some stutter there. They needed most of the lumber to rip guard tap towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more time you'll have left to forge. Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricades. And then we'll have to find more. That's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison a few summers back. After that, you're back to using a hammer and chisel. There's gotta be more. The Soviets left everything behind. We spent two full days combing the old buildings. That was the last of the fuel. Don't worry, you'll like the chisel. It never runs dry. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths than births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful, wandering, longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause, but I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory, but as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again, and we are bound with the fate of this place, for better or worse. Yeah, it sounds like. Well, every time there's an air blow, someone always thinks like that. that, that. You're your Jacob guest. If you look looking for a way to help, they're repairing the guard towers just down the path. I mean, no offense, but you don't look like you're ready for a turn on the anvil. How's the cutting coming? Slow. Got to be careful. The rust made weak spots. We should have kept the metal dry during the rains. Hmm. We had to use those sheets to patch the roof last year, when we had the floods. Make do with what you can. Jacob said you rescued him from the prison. It was a joint effort. Well, whatever you did, we're grateful. We won't turn away another pair of hands if you can help. But we're not accustomed to visitors. It's a nice way of putting it. Hello. Did you bring anything to trade? Anything we could use? There's something buzzing over the valley. You must have seen them. There's a white wolf out there. I've never seen her myself, but I've heard she's only out at night. That means there's probably an achievement to kill the white wolf.
thought there was something to do with chickens in the village. Hmm. I guess I was wrong. Ah, I was right. more chickens over here. Might as well get you on down here. So far, the first chickens haven't been too hard. Usually the final chicken that's annoying one. <laughs> hey, if they keep spawning that fish, time. Alright, this is the quickest I've done this town. I'm not complaining by the way. But... I guess that's more for for coming on. I was just hoping there was something down. Guess not. We never recovered from the Soviets. And now this. If you want to help, you should head down to the lower village. I know you want to help, but I have to finish here. Armies need food as much as weapons. I'll leave you to it then. I'll run out of nails before we're done here. We can pull more out of the old cabins. The ones we don't use anymore. Can't the smith forge more? I just need a few dozen. He's making arrowheads. As many as he can before they arrive. I'd rather run out of nails. Wouldn't you? Makes sense. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia. Whom I thought I'd long forgotten and it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment, even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child, and those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. Huh. Wonder why you'd have to do that. Wow, I missed, uh... Oh, come on. Well, as, as you saw, I, I cannot hit anything.
Young ones, you scoffed at learning your letters. Said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected. And I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track, hunt, and bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hares you can find anywhere, night or day, both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees, and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins, or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. All right. Makes sense for something like this that, uh, as a teacher, you'd have to make everything connected, force the students to want to learn. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment. It's a good thing she said that because that would have been a loophole. Can I make it? No. Fire. Oh, hello. Followers of the Prophet fled to the east. The journey was difficult. So you know that's where I'm supposed to go, but. Oh, oh, oh. Another little audio hiccup, sorry about that. Again, haven't really figured out a way to get rid of those, or the... You, uh, you've heard them many times uh, when my microphone... Or when my microphone audio hiccups or burps or whatever you want to call it. Bolts can you take? Oh, finally. <sighs> Two bear pelts for that. Nice. I think there's a challenge to him in there. Uh, 
Okay. Can't do that challenge to him yet. Got it. Wee. I'll take this. Another challenge to him, I think. can't get to this one, can I? Darn, should have waited a bit, bit before shooting him. I like these challenge tombs. Well, hopefully I can actually do this one. There's got to be something down there. Now that you said that, Lara, it's going to be a dead end. I know it isn't, but that would be funny. Astonishing. This architecture predates the rise of Eastern Orthodoxy. How would you know that from a glance? What were they doing here? Gold belt buckle. Decorative, but strong and functional. Hmm, it appears to be part of a military uniform. Well, I'm not saying that she couldn't know, I just, honestly, how would you tell that this predates something just at a glance? Well, it takes a lot of knowledge and skill. But at the same time, it could be just someone pulling an answer out of nowhere. I don't know. I have left my wife in the care of these physicians. The sickness became exactly what we feared as her skin turned to scales and she lost all feeling in her extremities. They say there is nothing that can be done for her save forgive her relief from the pain and ease her passing. But she must be kept far from the city. Far from me. 
My wife will die, and I will never see her in this world again. I will hurry to the next to meet her. Hmm. That could not have been easy for either of them. Oh, it's this one. Can I get in there from over here? No? Sorry, I saw like the backpack with a little shiny on the other side of that wall. How would I get to that? Hello. A golden necklace of incredible detail. Whoever made it, it's the equal of anything found in the Empire. Seriously, how do I get in there? Oh, this is gonna be a long episode. I'm gonna, but uh, I'm gonna get the thing at the end and call the episode there. I didn't realize we we're a few minutes over. Get that on the way out. Looks to be a treatise on the connection between the body and the mind.
Well, with that, it is past time uh, to end the episode. So thank you everybody for watching, and I will hope to see you next time. Alright, bye.